Did Anjali just say no to Arjun? Sir, who knows what women want? Clearly not Arjun. <laughs> Let's get more popcorn, sir. The plot is in the end. Go! Hey, bro, me? Did not go too well then. Well, let's go get a samosa. You know what they say, samosa a day, heartbreak away. I don't want your samosas. How do you have time to steal my girl when you spent half this trip shedding them? Steal your girl? And hey, zero regrets on the samosas. She likes you, dude. She does? What? Anjali likes you. You! Anjali likes me. I mean, sure she's kind of cute and funny, but I'd never do that to you. What are you trying to say? You like her too? Oh, why didn't you tell me? Dude, you were obsessed with this girl and ready to name your kids, man. You went behind my back, didn't you? No, I'd never do that to you. And plus, it's not my fault she doesn't like a simp like you. It's your fault for not telling me. You let me embarrass myself, man. That's not what best friends are for! Bro, I promise, nothing even happened between us. If you just think about it... I don't know what to think right now. I just feel betrayed and hurt. Arjun, just, just go, Jay. Arjun, if you won't leave, I will.
Jay and I are over. What? What do you mean you and Jay are over? Wait, you guys finally started dating? I've been placing bits on this. Why didn't you tell me? What? No, no! Our friendship is over. I can't be mates with Jay anymore. You bitter? You told me the only thing that could ruin your friendship is if he went to see Avengers Endgame without you. And seeing as I took both of you to it and had to hold your hand through the sad part, I don't understand. Um, can't you just be serious for a minute? My entire life has just changed. Jay betrayed me for this girl. Jay has been dogging the boys? Oh, Mom! <laughs> Was she your wife? No. Was she your high school sweetheart? No. Then what could he have possibly done that was so horrible for you idiot boys to throw away a friendship since you, you've had since you were babies? I liked a girl and I thought she liked me too, but it turns out she likes Jay instead. And? And Jay likes her back? And? What do you mean and, Mom? Why don't you understand? He liked her but never told me and let me chase after her like an idiot. Bitta, you do enough things to make yourself look stupid without Jay helping you. But mom, the one person who's always meant to have my back, didn't. He didn't tell me something so important. But did Jay know for sure? Did they run away and get married? No, right? Do you really think this is such a severe thing to make you ruin your lifelong friendship? He's always been there for you, and you've always been there for him. Why should this situation be any different? I guess when you put it that way. You know I'm right. I guess. Now, go apologize to Jay for saying mean things to him and for questioning his loyalty to you. How, how do you know I was mean to him? Oh, Arjun, you know I'm your mother, right? Now, how are you going to make it up to him? Mom, I've actually been thinking about this for a while. I need to make a call. Thank you. 
me right now, but I've got to tell you that Anjali just asked me out. <laughs> that soon, huh? Don't worry, dude. I said no. Despite what you think, I'd never do that to you. Look, man, we're best friends. And all I want is for you to be happy. So if that means telling Anjali you like her, then go for it. But, Arjun, I don't want to hurt you. You're not. I've always got your back, no matter what. She really like you too. Jay, you were right. I don't want to get in between you guys. Friendship like that doesn't come along very often. I think we should just stay friends. But Anjali, I just sorry, Jay. I've made up my mind. Been together? Yeah, I'm glad he's my best friend as well. You guys seem real close. Yeah, there was this one time. 
when my mom made ukma for school lunch and all these guys started bullying me and told me I smell like curry but then Arjun came along and he said at least I smell like delicious curry and not like B.O. and Marmite. Oh, that's so great. Everyone deserves a good scream like that. It must be so nice, especially now considering everything going on with your parents. Yeah, it is. But you've had your own fair share of family drama too. Yeah, we've got enough drama to write a show. Let's not be with our parents, let's be together. Wow, you have such a way with words. You know what I mean, but why don't we just be in the moment?
Check this out. Well, are you sure you want to eat that, bro? Yeah, I've been building my spice tolerance up over this trip. Oh, shoot! Spicy! What the hell? What was this? Did you want the mango yogurt drink? <laughs> what? what the... I swear, vegetable pakoras are not meant to be this spicy. My friend, my 20 years of detective experience tells me this is a chili bhaji, okay? Not, not a vegetable pakora. A, a chili bhaji? Basically a deep fried chili. No wonder my tongue is on fire while my mouth is numb. Ah. Bro, you got to learn to pick your battles, eh? And to be honest, I don't think you'll ever win one against Spice. <sighs> I knew it! You cops are useless! Rohan? Yes, sir. What are you doing here? We're not paying you to be on holiday. You never should have trusted me with finding my sister. Wait, what? Hey, you asked us to find her, you never said to return her, okay? <laughs> you imbecile! Who even let you be a cop? What the hell is happening here? You guys were hired by my parents? Of course we hired someone to find you. Did you think you would get away with being a selfish little brat? I'm not the selfish one here, you are. You only want me to marry that misogynistic creep so that you can live in luxury without working for it. Anjali, Madam Ji, you have to believe us. First, we approach you only to find you. For once, you told us your side of the story, things changed. We couldn't take you back. I trusted you guys, and I took your advice, because I thought you genuinely cared about what I was going through. Uh, Anjali, Miss, we do care about what you're going through. How can I believe you? This is just stupid and irrelevant. Anjali, we're going home. Ajit is willing to take you back even though you insulted him. You think you're gonna take her away? Yeah, bro, she's not going anywhere with you. Yes. Whoa! 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 Let's go on to it! Who do you guys think you are? They are the only people who care about me for me. So you've run away and gotten yourself two boyfriends now. Is that it, Anjali? Bro, you should be ashamed of yourself to call her your brother. How I treat her. It's our family business. And I say she's marrying a Jeep. <laughs> Dude, you've got your priorities as a brother so messed up. She's a human being with her own thoughts and feelings, man. Rohan, I'm not coming home with you. I'm finishing this trip, and then I'm coming home and talking to Amma and Appa. Even though you don't understand, I think they will. You think they'll just accept this? This boy has nothing to offer me. Offer us. <laughs> he? No, it's not anything that I'm going to kill them or anything. Well, it's going to be the last stop on our tour. <laughs> Thank you all incredible people for coming on to this incredible tour around incredible India. Hope you had an incredible time. Myself had an incredible moment. But please, don't forget to pay me incredibly. Huh? Write a review on here, it'll help us a lot. And a shout out on Instagram and even on TikTok. TikTok. When it's eventually, <laughs> when it's eventually get unbanned, wait, it's, it's banned. Right? So, yeah, do not pay me. Oh, that cocoa 
Jesus is finally doing a number on me. Be right back. You? Don't move. What are you guys doing here? Well, seeing as you couldn't bother telling us where our daughter went, the kind cops let us know. You did? I knew I couldn't trust you guys. Anjali, Madam Ji, you have to understand we had nothing to hurt you, huh? Sachi is right. Please listen to your parents. Anjali, they lied. They finally made us realize how you've been feeling this whole time. Why don't you tell us Rohan was forcing you to marry a chief? I thought you guys wanted me to marry him. Only because Rohan keep telling us Ajit has this, he has that, his modeling career is finally taking off. So we thought you were happy to be married to him. We didn't realize that he was treating you badly and that Rohan was forcing you to do something you didn't want to. I didn't do anything that wasn't the best for this family. Neither of you ever see what I do for this family. It's always about Anjali. This would have been the first time she would have given us anything. Better. Family is not about the material things that we give to each other. It's about the love, support, and compassion that we have for each other. But Dad, he has seven Audis. And he's rich enough that he can take care of us for the rest of our lives. But no, he would have kept Anjali making infinite jalebis in the kitchen. I don't think she's into massages. Shh, out of the family drama, man. No, guys, it's okay. I can't believe you talked to my parents and told them how I was feeling. Thank you. And I'm sorry for snapping at you. It's okay, Anjali, Madam Ji. And we are sorry that we didn't let you know that we were looking for you for your parents. Sorry. <coughs> Especially after you poured your heart out to us, treated me, <coughs> I mean, us, like friends. So what? Uh, you're just going to get Anjali get away without marrying a G? I will not sacrifice my daughter's happiness and freedom to live the life that she wants just because you are not willing to work hard and make your own money. If you want to live in luxury, Rohan, earn it yourself. We are happy with what we have now, and that includes Anjali's happiness. Mama, thank you. I love you and Appa both so much. Jake, how could you run away from us? Where have you been? Should have given us some time to digest what you were saying. We, we. We only want the best for you, Beta. Arjun showed us your food blogging and your photos are so beautiful. You made my chocolate look gorgeous. And he told us that you got offered this amazing internship with this hotshot photographer, too. Wait, what? Arjun, food blogging? What are you guys even doing here? None of this is even making any sense. I thought you guys said if I dropped out of mid, you don't want me as a son. Oh, Jay. You know how dramatic your Amma gets when she watches too many serials? She didn't mean any of it. I couldn't even sleep when you went away for school camps. How did you think I would live if I kicked you out of the house? What are you guys even doing here? Wow. How did that cocoa juice keep you away from it? Looks like a new See, Arjun, I told you we would make it in time. <laughs> What? Arjun? You told him? Well, someone had to. You certainly weren't picking up our calls. What? Wait, so just to make it clear, you're all good, right, with me dropping out of mid? As long as you don't around telling everyone you dropped out of mid. <laughs> I've made a list of how we're going to tell everyone you're no longer in medicine. My favorite is that your lecturers are so on off your intellect, they couldn't stand to have you in their class. You take after me, obviously. Oh my, can you not just tell people what's going on in my life? What she means to say is that wonderful friend Arjun here gave us a call a few days ago and told us how passionate you are for food photography and how miserable medicine was making you. No! I told you that! I guess we really just needed someone else to tell us that. You must be Anjali. You're even prettier than Arjun said. Arjun? You even told him about Anjali? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm so glad my Jay found a well-cultured girl to be my future daughter-in-law. I'm not, we, we just started talking out. Like, don't you think Charlie's a bit too soon? Ooh. <laughs> 
ਨੂੰ ਗਿਫਟ ਕਰਾਂ ਜੱਤੀਏ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਗਿਫਟ ਕਰਾਂ ਜੱਤੀਏ ਹਾਏ ਨੀ ਹੀਰੇ ਚਰਿਆ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਚੰਨ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਰੱਬਾ ਤੇ ਤੇਰੀ ਚਾਂਦ ਨਾਲ ਸੀਤ ਤੇ ਬੈਂਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਚੰਨ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਰੱਬਾ ਤੇ ਤੇਰੀ ਚਾਂਦ ਨਾਲ ਸੀਤ ਤੇ ਬੈਂਦਾ Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed our first ever COVID ISA cultural night. Now it's time to introduce to you the cast and crew that brings you Indian Express. Please welcome Bhartanatyam Das, choreographed by Dipanita Das. And the dancers include Abida, Tanya, Sejal, Piali, Amelia, Dulaksha, Aditi, Sneha, Shruti. <laughs> Next we have fusion choreographed by Shan Verma and Kotara Kamata. The dance <laughs> Woo! The dancers are The dancers are Vanil, Amit, Dhruv, Sushant, Noor, Karima, Aliza, Krishan, Namita, Hana, Shrata, Nupur, Sanya. Next up, SLSA, choreographed by Dipandita Das, Tarushi, Nanayakara, and Ram Ramali. It goes to Gamma Gang, including Tarani, Tashi, Anukka, Shruti, Vaishnavi, and Trisha. Woo! Next we have the Jyoti Garba dance, choreographed by Jatin Patel and Rhea Sajuwon. The dancers include Hamish, Nayan, Pranay, Samar, Sushant, Rujin, Saraya, Diksha, Pankuri, Sophie, Nipa, Alina, Jayashri, Divyashri, Alyssa. Next up, Romance, choreographed by Hamish Singh and Shrutha Patel, Woo! including the dancers of Jathan, Bhargav, Karthik, Rakesh, Remy, Bhavika, Saba, Nikki, Rajmi, Him, Noor, Rashmi, Yashri, and Vijal. Next we have 
have Story Bollywood choreographed by Agam Bhatti and Lakan Kukraja. The dancers are Amar, Amanpreet, Saurabh, Ajit, Remy, Ankur, Nabin, Pranay, Yashri, Nupur, Sanika, Nikki, Akshita, Amnik and Alex. Vintage, choreographed by Salva Patel and Rajmi Gandhi. Please welcome Akshat, Soheb, Hamish, David, Pranil, Nabin, Rishi, Shraddha, Tulsi, Sophie, Hem, Saraya, Alyssa, Priyanka, Nupur, and Tejal. The dancers are Remy, Naban, Akshat, David, Soeb, Bhavika, Aditi, Riya, Rashmi, Alina, Veena, Darshni, Ahalia, and Sneha. <laughs> Bangra Company, choreographed by Amadeek Palm and Justine Kwan, Sharandeep Chandu, including the dancers Amanpri, Baras, Valraj, Varinda, Parambir, Dulsi, Nipanita, Agam, Jasmine, Avantika, and Sharon. The band managed by Nikki Chandura, including the incredibly talented musicians and singers Venik, Tosi, Sawanara, David, Pauline, Remy, Alina, Aditi, Soe, Palak, Kiara, and Nikki.
Ajit Adipuri, Hema Singh, Jatin Patel, Pranay Mistri, Shushan Yadav, Rajvi Gandhi, Sophie Mekling, Sora McGrath, Shamita Punaru, Saba Patel, Shraddha Patel, and Rhea Shajamu. family couldn't come tonight to watch you perform. I hope that you've made new friends and a Dunedin family that will last a lifetime. But if not, there's always next week. <laughs> um, I'd like you all to give a huge round of applause to the 2020 committee as well. <laughs> Babaka and I could not have asked for a better team to do this with. I will admit it has been a bit rough and we've not been able to do what we would normally do or hold events like we would. Um, and do what we planned at the start. But here we are, holding our show and being part of all of this together as a family. You should all be proud of yourselves for making it through this crazy year. Because um, I am super proud of each and every one of you and all of your achievements. Can I please get another round of applause for this amazing time? Um, before I get into mentioning four special people, I would firstly like to thank a few people who have really changed my life this year. To my friends, you have really changed my life, and amidst the coronavirus, you have made everything that little bit better. Um, you've all got a special play place in my heart, and I literally cried when writing this, so thank you, and I love you all so much. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, to my family, my mom, dad, my sister, and brother, thank you for all your support and your love. I know you can't be here tonight to watch this. Um, um, this amazing show put on by all these amazing people, but I would not have been able to get through this year without you And so please know that I really appreciate and love everything that you do for me yeah. <laughs> So now on to the four very special people Nikki Chandora the media marketing manager this girl has put her heart and soul into ISA this year I really don't know if you have seen all those posters and videos, but oh god, watch them if you haven't. Um, but Nikki was the leader of all of those with her promo team, and Nikki, I have to say that I admire the amount of dedication and commitment you put into ISA. You are so incredibly talented, and I thank you so much for all your hard work this year. Thank you for being an amazing person and a, and a lovely friend to work with you. Like, I love you and everything that you do, so thank you. The name Paras means that anything he touches turns into gold. And as our treasurer, as our treasurer, I really cannot think that could be any more fitting. Paras, thank you for everything you have done this year and for putting in so much effort into ISA and making it great. 
But especially, I want to thank you for being one of my close friends, for supporting me and sticking with me, even though I've been something else to deal with. Um, and as I said, anything you touch turns to gold, and you coming into my life those long three years ago has really turned my heart into gold, as I'm sure it has turned, in, <laughs> as I'm sure it has turned many others here tonight. I love you heaps. Next is Aditi. Uh, where do I start with you? This girl here has been a workaholic when it comes to ISA. The roster queen, some may say. She is an amazing human with such a workload, like a huge workload outside of ISA as well as inside ISA. But your love for ISA is seen in all the effort you have put in this year. Aditi, you are a ray of sunshine and I as well as everyone tonight appreciate everything you have done this year. Not only for ISA, but as an amazing secretary, secretary and as my friend and my little sister. I love you so much. Yes. And last but not least, the amazing Babaka, the dark horse, the secret <laughs> core of ISA. I would not have been able to do ISA without someone like you by my side. Your constant support and your constant need to help others has really shown through. You've become an amazing leader and you are a role model to everyone here. Thank you for being so genuine and putting 110% into ISA. <laughs> you are a shining star with so much ahead of you. And I, I wish all the best for you next year. <laughs> oh, I promised myself I wouldn't sweat from my eyes. <laughs> These four have been breaking their backs for ISA this year. Um, not literally though. <laughs> but, ISA, <laughs> but ISA would not be what it is without them, as well as everyone standing here behind me, and as well as all of you in the cast and crew of Indian Express. So a huge round of applause to all of you. You should all be proud of all the effort you've put in today and this amazing show that we put together to get like as a team. Thank you all so much. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Okay, so I think there's obviously one very, very important person that we have to thank. Tulsi. I know that this year has not been what anyone expected, and I know this isn't the president year that you dreamed of. But standing here today, I am so, so proud of you, and you should be too, because despite everything, we have still been able to put up a show. And that's down to your hard work, your determination, and your perseverance to push through. You've been an incredible leader to our entire committee. You've listened to them, you've taken what they've said on board, and you've made our events and our show something that we are all proud of. You've been, you've been an ex exceptional president, and I'm so, so glad that I got to share this with you. So on behalf of the four of us, our entire committee, and everyone in the show, a huge, huge thank you for being our president for 2020. not just the committee, not just top five, but you guys, and especially the MCs as well. Thank you, I know we were all... <laughs> I know we were all looking forward to performing this in front of a crowd. I know me and Aditi, as like the script writers, like seeing our vision come to life was definitely, it was amazing and it couldn't be possible without the actors, the dancers, the backstage, the lights, the everything, the band. Thank you so much. I'm sorry we couldn't yeah, be on the <laughs> But, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I just want to thank everyone and give yourself a round of applause, pat on the back, because you guys did amazing today. So, woo! Last thank you for coming, everyone, here with us today. And being the part of the incredible Indian Express. Thank you. <laughs>